The Eminent Persons Advisory Committee of the Electoral Commission has requested that the electoral management body engages IPAC and other stakeholders over the raging controversy on the compilation of a new voters register. The uh, committee made its position clear after a crunch meeting in Accra. Here's a report by Kamala Kluchik. Agitations over the compilation of a new voters register for the December polls. The Eminent Persons Advisory Committee meeting is timely following the brewing tensions among stakeholders, particularly political parties. Already, Parliament has approved a budget of 400 million CDs for the compilation of the new register. The EC at a meeting with the 21 eminent persons justified its legal right to have the new register, making a strong case for a new electoral rule is cost effective and will be in the interest of the entire nation. President of the Ghana Journalist Association, Afro Money, who is a member of the eminent persons, says the calls on the EC to have a second look is justified. Certainly yes, because um, the best way out of this present um, um, impasse is um, dialogue. We need to dialogue as uh, stakeholders and we need to ensure that um, civility and decorum characterize the national discourse on this issue. That crunch meeting of the 21 eminent advisory persons to the Electoral Commission has ended. The position of the eminent persons is that the Electoral Commission further engages uh, both IPAC and other stakeholders before the rollout of the new register. However, the position of the Electoral Commission was clear. It will cost them more if they should stick with the current register and the data system, but it will be cost effective if a new one is rolled. However, the eminent persons say it is proper and appropriate to engage further on this impasse. Kamala Kluche, TV3 News, Accra. Jonathan Asantochiri is a lecturer from the University of Cape Coast and a political analyst. Uh, he joins us on phone now. Good afternoon, sir, and thanks extremely. So uh, we are now clear in our minds that the Eminent Persons Advisory Committee has recommended, uh, made recommendations for the EC and political parties which are against the new register to get back to the table and talk. Uh, what would you say to this? I mean, what's your quick response to this development? Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity. Let me say good afternoon to your viewers. Um, I think it is better late than never. Already somewhere about uh, last week or so, I, I did indicate that the EC ought to stop this materialistic display uh, of this uh, uh, monster called independence and then ensure that there is that kind of dialogue. We need to explain. Because already the people are of the view that there is lack of transparency, their communication channel is, is, is always poorly organized. And so the view was that I suggested long before the eminent body, you know, suggested yesterday to the EC, that look, you need to engage the people more than what you think you're doing. Because if at the end of the day, we are talking about you organizing the elections. You are not organizing the election for your own family members. You are organizing the election for stakeholders mm. who would have expended money. And then everybody expects that he or she will win the elections flatly mm. and squarely. And so you don't expect that if there is that, that level of suspicion, you know, they are just going to let mm. it go. You see, if for good or for innocence of heart, the EC may want to to compile these voters, uh, new voters registration. Uh, 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 hmm. They want to compile but, but, that But, but Mr. Zantiochiri, are you, are you expecting that the EC will make a U-turn, a turnaround from its original position to compile a new voters register? Well, I said yesterday on, on your sister 3FM that, look, they are expect the opposition party not to go there with a closed mind. Hmm. They should enter the dialogue with open mind. They should start afresh. Based upon that, they will be able to, as it was synthesized, the view that the EC will put across, demonstrate it, demonstrate the particularity, the particularity of the new voters register, the compilation of it. 
So if 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 it still does not go the way it should go, then I think that the status quo ante should remain. Mm. Apart from the fact that you know the thing comes so, out so, so, with so one, its own one, difficulties. When you when you say the status quo ante should remain, then you you want to suggest that if, for example, the parties do not come to any compromise, then the old register should stay. Why not? Because it is not as if it is. It is something they cannot use. They can use, they, they can use that already. They have already provided that answer that it is usable, and that they can use it to conduct the elections. They wanted to take it a, a little notch higher. Mm -hmm. That is a that, that is a good decision coming from the UC. Apart from the fact that it is too costly, and some of us think that it's overly ambitious within an electoral period. It does not matter whether they have something to hide or they are not transparent. Mm -hmm. There, there is still going to be some kind of suspicion. And I have also said that the MPP in government should not be seen aligning itself or siding with the UC, because in the end, if they don't, if they don't take care, people will vent their spleen on them. I think they are in bed with the UC. That may not be the case. May or may not be the case. And so they should just remain somewhere and allow them to take on the EC. Mm. They shouldn't be taking the position of being communicating uh, whatever, you know, uh, uh, channel for the EC and so on and so forth. But be that as it may, uh, I am of the view that the NDC and other stakeholders should go on to the dialogue, the IPAC meeting with open mind and open heart, and listen and see how this thing can practically you know, can practically be used within this period in terms of registration, yeah. how it is going to constrain the various political parties, as it were, in conducting their campaign and so on and so forth. If they consider all these things and they feel that that is the way to go, fine. And right. then we just have to be ready. Of course, they are going to inconvenience us. Some of us have the view that once our biometric data has already been captured, there is no need capturing it again. It is just a matter of upgrading. But they seem to come from a different point right. of view. If I were a commissioner of UC, I think that I would have conducted this right. somewhere 2022. So, and so, that would not have been an election. So, Justin a, a very quick one. Feasible. A very quick one. Yeah. Uh, we spoke with the Deputy General Secretary of the MPP, and he makes reference to Article 45 of the Constitution and suggests that because the Electoral Commission is mandated, I mean, these kinds of consultations don't change anything, and that the position of the Electoral Commission is non negotiable. Are you anticipating from commentaries of this nature that the EC is likely to stick to its guns and push on with the compilation of a new voters register irrespective of these consultations? Well, um, you, are, you are really pinning me into the wall and uh, we understand. We, it is said in the Bible somewhere that the point is that you may have your way, but it may not be appropriate. Yeah. Besides, your independence may not be compromised, or your, your independence will not, will, be, will not be compromised just because you understand the view from another opposing party. Mm. It does not mean that your independence has been compromised. It is just a matter of common sense prevailing over here. Right. You are conducting elections for the entirety of Ghanaian. People have invested in that thing. And so you just cannot be used. Law is just a matter of application of common sense. Right. And so we need to look at the feasibility of whatever you are bringing across. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm saying that the opposition party and other stakeholders should go there with open arms, open mind and open heart, and listen to the demonstration that the EC will put across. Right. If at the end of the day it is the way to go, they are the major stakeholders. And then we all have to subscribe right. to that. Other than that, that, I still remain, you know, I still have that particular point of view, that practicability is important, the, the, the prudence, how imprudent such, such kind of money is going to be expended on the compilation at this time, the timing is very bad, and irrespective of the innocence of the heart of EC, the, the opposition will be suspicious of it, as if they are conducting something to inure to the favor of the ruling party. That may not be the case. Right. But as it stands now, that is the problem. And it is not just going to be by mere communication on radio and FM, on radio and TV, that will take away that suspicion. Right. And I think that we must all go there with open mind and see how best, after all, 
We all, we all have one country. And the same country that is going to conduct the elections, this is not the first time you have conducted elections. Right, if it doesn't come it. your way, it's all fair and good. There is always another time to, to, to challenge for the seat. Right, um, Mr. Santiochiri, we are grateful for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, Jonathan Santiochiri is a senior lecturer at the University of Cape Coast and is a political analyst.